Hi everyone, Lina here. In today's video, I'll show you how to create your very own Beans calendar in Google Sheets. This tool will help you stay on top of due dates, payment amounts, and statuses, all in one convenient place. Plus, I'll share you a free template, so you can go to the link in the description and get that template right away. Okay, so now let's jump into the tutorial. Step number one, setting up the calendar. First, you need a calendar like this. I've already made a detailed video on how to create this calendar and provided a free template. So you can click here to watch that video or get the free template to follow along with me. Before we start, let's delete any unnecessary columns and expand the seven columns on the right. Step number two, creating the bill summary section. I will merge some cells okay, to create space to write bill summary. I mistyped earlier, but this area is bill summary. And then I'm going to change the size of the text a bit. And I will change the font of the bill uh, summaries to Pacifico. Next, I select View, Show, Choose Grid Lines to make editing easier. I will merge some cells to write the name of the category later. Then select necessary cells and merge them horizontally. After that, we select all columns and add borders. Now we have four columns, one for category, one for due date, one for amount, and the last one for page status. Then we select all of them and change the background. Okay, I'm going to select green. For example, we're going to have a category, the bills for Canva. So I'm going to write Canva here. Do that section, we need to insert mini calendar. So here I'm going to choose data. You choose data validation. And at row here, you choose ease validate. And don't forget to click here, click show help text for selected self and write double clicked for calendar. Okay. Yeah, you select done here. And don't forget to select reject the input. Now when you double click, a mini calendar will pop up if you accidentally enter incorrect information. It will show a warning like this. Seeing the date appears a bit long. Let's format it. So you go to Format, Choose Number, Custom Date and Time, and select the format to display only the date. Now it looks better. So next in the Amount column, let's format the currency. Here I will select all the necessary cells. After that, I go to Format, you choose Number, you choose Custom Currency, and to select the appropriate currency format. In the next step, we need to add checkboxes for paid status. Here, I will select all the cells I need and then choose insert and choose checkbox. I want when I tick the box, the words will be crossed out. So I will use format and choose conditional formatting function for this one. So now you can go to format and choose conditional formatting. And then you choose custom formula is. 
enter the range uh, according to your spreadsheet with my is i19 to i60 equal to okay so this formula will look like this one and don't forget to add the dollar side dollar symbol here to make the data fixed okay so then you can change the format here I will change the color of the background to like light green and then I'm gonna change the text color choose cross out the text okay done all right so where so now whenever you tick the box the text will be cross out and the background will change to light green looks quite cool right i'm gonna select all of them all the build summary and choose the border for it okay ah, it looks better now now let's move to the most important part of this tutorial it is the build tracker calendar so first I will merge seven cells here for the calendar. Okay, here you type equal and choose the month of the mini calendar here. Okay. Then I'm gonna select it and choose new border. Mm, green look good. Now we need to set up the weekdays. To make the weekdays dynamic, we can use the formula that reference the start date of the week. So here I'm gonna enter equal C7 to reference date in the cell C7, which is the first Monday of the month. Then I'm gonna format and uh, custom the data bit. Hmm. Drop to view handle across to the right to view the other days of the week. So you can see when we change the start date here, the bigger calendar will be automatically changed. That's look good. Now let's enter the days of the month. We just uh, use mini calendar as a reference. So you equal, skip six rows blank, leave six row blanks and write in the seventh rows. Do the same with other rows until you can enter all the date from the mini calendar to the bigger one just you equal and then choose a date okay and then drag it drag it to the right right it is so simple I think I need to change the arrangement here to right. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to change the color of the build tracker a bit. Still use a green theme. I only change the color of the rows that contains the dates.
Then we select the build tracker and border it. Hmm, I think border all the cells will look much better. So let's try it. Hmm, select all borders. Why? Hmm, that's look good. Next, here we are the most important part. I will input the, our view information into the calendar. To do this, I will combine arrays constraint function with filter function. The filter function extracts data that meets specific criteria and the range here B19 to D16, the range of categories. So you just choose according to your spreadsheets. K5 is contains the date value in the calendar. You can see K5 here. Okay, so you know you need to choose according to your spreadsheet, not my my just the example. Then I add if error function. It makes sure that the formulas does not display an error message. Instead, it can display a blank cell. Lastly, we add array constraint. This one limits the size of the array of the array returned by filter function. Here 6 is the maximum number of rows. You can see here is 6 is the maximum number of rows and 1 is the maximum numbers of column. Only one column and 6 rows. That's, that's the reasons why I mm, tell you that you need to leave 6 blank rows. This is the reasons why. Okay, so now I will put this formula into practice. It didn't show anything because today's doesn't have any views. So I'm gonna drag it to all the days. Okay, you can see Canva here because we add due date of Canva is sixth of July. Uh, if we change it to uh, two of July, it's gonna change in the calendar. Okay, do the same. With other rows, we just use this formula with the rows that is under the rows contains the date. I want to highlight the views in the calendar, so I'm going to choose Format, Conditional Formatting and change the background shade. You just to make sure that the format cells, if it is, is not empty.
this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more tools to stay organized and productive, don't forget to check out Notly, my small business offering authentic and functional digital planners, templates, and stickers. You can find the link to Notly in the description below. Support me by exploring our products and sharing them with your friends. Thank you and have a good day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.